The most useful machine learning library in the world is Google's TensorFlow. It is your best friend if you have lots and lots of data. If you have tried it once but got out with a bizarre experience saying TensorFlow is too complicated and academic, then please think again. It is not so complicated but normal. TensorFlow can be defined as the library developed by Google researchers to resolve problems regarding machine learning, artificial intelligence and deep learning. Now we will understand relationship between TensorFlow and machine learning. Before moving forward, please make sure you subscribe to Simply Learn's YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss any updates. TensorFlow and machine learning. TensorFlow is used to develop machine learning models, particularly the TensorFlow API used for this purpose. Machine learning researchers use TensorFlow to create machine learning algorithm. Data flow graphs, structures that depict how data flows across a graph or a collection of processing nodes can be created by developers using TensorFlow. A mathematical operation is represented by each node in the graph and each edge between nodes is a multidimensional data array or tensor. Most targets that are practical can run TensorFlow applications including local machines, cloud clusters, iOS, Android smartphones, CPUs, GPUs. TensorFlow can be run on Google specialized TensorFlow processing unit silicon if you use the company's own cloud for further acceleration. But the models that TensorFlow produces can be installed on almost any device and used to make predictions. So far, we have learned about how TensorFlow and machine learning are interconnected because both TensorFlow and machine learning are bound with each other. Let me tell you a few important things about TensorFlow before you start coding. Rules about TensorFlow Firstly, you can use Jupyter Notebooks and it can be directly run on Google Colab. TensorFlow uses Keras which is a high level library built on top of TensorFlow. Keras facilitates rapid deep learning model development by acting as a wrapper for low level libraries like TensorFlow. Because the entire system is written in Python, accessibility and debugging are made simple. Lastly, TensorFlow library is introduced with import TensorFlow as TF. Abstraction is the single most important advantage TensorFlow offers for machine learning development. The developer can concentrate on the overreaching logic of the application rather than worrying about the minute details of implementing algorithms or working out how to connect the result of one function to the input of another. Developers that need to debug and gain insight into TensorFlow programs, TensorFlow provides extra conveniences. Instead of creating and evaluating the complete graph as a single opaque object, each graph operation can be evaluated and updated independently and openly. It is now required to use this so-called eager execution mode which was a choice in earlier iteration of TensorFlow. Coming to applications of TensorFlow. TensorFlow is used to develop mobile applications. It is used in Google search engine to analyze vast amount of data. Twitter updated their platform to display tweets in the order of this ranking after implementing TensorFlow to rate tweets by importance for a particular user. So these are the important applications of TensorFlow. Before ending, I would like to raise a query. Which is the most efficient programming language to code in TensorFlow? A Ruby, B Python, R, C++. Please leave the answer in the comment section below. We would like to answer any questions you may have in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Stay tuned for more interesting videos on the latest technologies. Till then, keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.